I recommend that patients have a colonoscopy starting about age 50. Uh, it might be a little earlier if they have a family history of colon cancer, and it might be a little earlier if they've had some other initiating symptoms such as rectal bleeding. The colonoscopy at 50 is more of a screening than anything else, and if there is a positive result from the screening, such as finding colon polyps, then they might have to have a repeat colonoscopy a little sooner than the 10 years that's usual for people to have a repeat. Family history would be a good reason to have a colonoscopy earlier than the age of 50. Um, the other things would be symptomatology that uh, was occurring. If there's a change in bowel habits, a change in uh, the um, size or character of the stool would be a good reason to do that. Um, it depends on such things as rectal bleeding as well. That should never be ignored. When I'm talking to somebody about having a colonoscopy and they have some concerns about how the whole thing will happen and how uncomfortable it would be and so forth, what I usually tell them is that the worst part is the prep. You have to have the bowel clean enough to be able to see what's really going on there. And the prep is the most unpleasant part of it. Once you get past that, once you are actually having the procedure done, you have uh, an IV started that is used to give you some medication that makes you uh, not remember the whole thing and it's fairly common for people to tell me that when they've done this the first thing that they say is well when are we going to get started and somebody says no it's already over. 